Hey everybody, this is Tara, and um, I'm making another blog, and today is uh, Two More Rules of Improv, and uh, I'm speeding it up, just because, you know, it's like, I, I, I am making this series just for people who, the, who are kind of shy, and they're like, oh my god, about like making videos and blogs and stuff, it's like, well things that these are some tools that I had in my back pocket for every time I went out on stage and it actually really helps because I'm clear that the other people that I'm performing with have these same rules in their back pocket and when you both have that and you know that each other is gonna just keep taking the scene and moving things forward and making the other person look good and all that stuff well it actually makes things a lot easier, and it makes it easier to, you know, to just kind of think think fast in, in certain situations and knowing what to say and all that stuff. Um, and even that <laughs> doesn't really matter after a while. It's like I just sit here and talk, and I'm not really, you know, it's like whatever comes out comes out. It's like what would it take for everybody to be able to, you know, jump in front of a camera and do that, you know, it's not as hard as it, as you think, and the, the stuff that goes on up here when you're doing it, that, oh my god, like, all that stuff, it's like, you just gotta be like, yo, dude, shut up, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so the next two rules of improv, so I think I'm on, I did five and six yesterday, so now I'm going to do number four and number three. So three and four, okay. So number four is have no fear. <laughs> okay, so what if the chem same chemicals of fear that are in your body are the same chemicals as excitement, when excitement's released in your body? You know, so truth in moments where you've called certain things fear, is it really excitement? You know, so something to just kind of look at. Um, but in an improv, you know, in improv, it's like you just, you know, have no fear. Go out there, say whatever you say. If you, if it, if you mess it up, you mess it up, and it'll continue. And probably turn into something even better than you could have ever imagined. So it's like, you know, just just be fearless when, especially as an improver, it's like if you, the most wildest things come to your head to say, say them. Because they will make the scene that much better. Okay? Um, the next one, it's really interesting because uh, it's control yourself. But not like, not don't express yourself. Like, control yourself. So for example, I am a very, <laughs> I am like a very fidgety, like I can't sit still sometimes. Like I'm very always, I'm going at like 90 miles per hour all the time. So when I'm on stage, there, the exercises that, uh, director Todd writes, the exercises that he used to give to me to practice being on stage like, he would give other people, like, animals. Like, okay, you're a monkey, you be a, uh, you know, you be a sloth, and you be, um, like, a giraffe, or, you know, he'll give everybody else animals. And then, for me, I was assigned being a tree. And I had to stand there on stage, and I had to stand still, and I couldn't talk, I couldn't say anything, and it was just like, whoa, right? And it's so not, it's just so not in my general nature to be sitting still and all that stuff. I'm, I'm very um, different from that. <laughs> yeah, so with, with the whole thing on control yourself, you want to be aware, just aware of like your impulses and, and stuff that you, your default mode just see if that they would if they would fit or work with the character that you've been assigned. If not, then you know just be aware of that, and that's all that is. So, um, thank you for tuning in and and watching this the vlog 
on the third and the fourth rule of improv, and I'll see you on the next one tomorrow. Bye.